Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in this video I'm going to try and help you work out why your My Energy Eddy or Zappy isn't behaving exactly the way you thought it should do based on what the CT clamps are telling the device. So thanks for tuning in to another video. So this video is specifically to try and help answer uh, one or two questions that a few viewers or maybe their subscribers, I didn't actually check, um, have asked me in terms of why their My Energy Zappy or Eddy may perhaps not be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Now, what I mean by that is they're often saying that they have um, a solar installation or a battery or both, and for some reason their Zappy or their Eddy still says that it's waiting for surplus, and in fact it's exporting to the grid, but for some reason their device is still saying waiting for surplus and not doing what it's doing. Now, the reason for that most likely, again I'm not a MyNG expert, so consult them if this doesn't work, is that something is probably misconfigured with the CT clamps, so the device itself doesn't know that there is surplus going back to the grid, hence the fact that it says waiting for surplus. So, um, just to clarify a few points in terms of how I'm gonna show you to check your CT clamp readings on your device, whether you have the Eddy or the Zappy, uh, it doesn't really make too much difference. The process is the same with a couple of nuances. And in this instance, I am using the My Energy Harvey. So just to explain, kind of how things will be set up based on whether you have a Zappy or an Eddy. So if you have an Eddy, you either have the CT clamps wired directly into the Eddy, and in the underside of the Eddy there is a uh, CT1 uh, and a CT2. So you're gonna have two CT clamps uh, directly connected to the Eddy. You'll have one connected to the grid, and you'll have the other one, if you have it wired up, connected either to your solar install or your battery or perhaps on a feed that covers both um, solar and battery, which is often unlikely, but is an option. If you have the Zappy, you have the option to have three CT clamps wired in there. So again, CT1 will be for the grid. CT2, typically people tend to put that down for their solar generation and possibly CT3 connected up to a battery or perhaps you don't have either of your Eddy or your Zappy having the wired CT clamps directly to it, and instead, like me, you are using the MyEnergy Harvey, and this basically provides wireless CT clamp readings to your Eddy and or your Zappy. And the way I have mine configured is CT1 is for grid, CT2 is for solar, which I currently don't have at the moment, so you'll see there's zero readings on my solar, and CT3 is connected up to my battery. So I'm going to show you on the screen, again, on my Zappy, but the way you access this is exactly the same, whether it be on your Eddy or your Zappy. You basically need to go into the advanced menu and we're going to look at what our readings are for the CT clamps on our device. Okay, I'm staying inside because it's a bit cold, but the little overlay will be just here. Maybe I'll make it fill up the whole screen. Let's see uh, what makes most sense. But Basically, you need to go into the menu screen and then scroll all the way down to other settings and then there, go down to advanced. Uh, four zeros is your standard passcode and then we're gonna go to linked devices and then devices. Now again here, depending if you have CT clamps on your Zappy, you're gonna connect into there. If you have the CT clamps on your Harvey, you're gonna go into there. But in this scenario, we have the Harvey um, so we're going to collect on the Harvey to see our CT clamp readings. And if we do that, and we can see here how we've got things wired up. So CT1, as I mentioned, is grid. CT2 I've got currently is none because it's not connected to solar, but normally I would put that to solar. And then CT3 is connected to my battery. Then if we click on um, the next screen, we can see um, both the current current. So 1.5 amps coming uh, connected for the grid. Uh, nothing on CT2 and 2.7 amps on the battery. If we go to screen two, here we can see that currently I have 26 watts coming from the grid, nothing on CT2, which would have been solar, and 660 watts is coming from um, my battery. So if you have solar and you have 
um, basically a negative number going in back into your grid, which means you're not pulling anything from the grid, you're exporting, then your device shouldn't be saying waiting for surplus. So what's probably happened is perhaps you've got your CT clamps connected up the wrong way, or you've labeled them incorrectly. So you've put CT1 as being battery or something, even though it is on the grid. Um, and perhaps you've got it in the wrong orientation. And that might be why your device says it's waiting for surplus, even when it isn't. So now you can see a little bit more information here on that screen about what the CT clamps are reading, what that is telling the MyEnergy device. Hopefully it's going to enable you to troubleshoot a bit better the issues you're having with your MyEnergy devices, saying they're waiting for surplus, even though you're exporting to the grid. So I hope this video helped. Please like if you have done, subscribe if you haven't done already, ask any questions or provide feedback down in the comments. It'd be much appreciated. Until the next video, take care of yourself and goodbye for now.